Good morning, I'm John Randall and I'm the vicar here in Huntingdon of All Saints, St Barnabas and St Mary's. It's good to be with you again. I read recently about a man from Queensland in Australia who pranked his wife by having her most unflattering photo tattooed onto his thigh. Jared Grove said that he and his wife Tegan are always joking around and teasing each other. So he decided to up the ante by heading to a local tattoo parlour with a picture of the face she pulls to make people laugh. I've seen the tattoo and to describe it as unflattering would be an understatement. Her reaction was mixed, he said. First of all, she cried a lot. Then she laughed. And then she cried again while googling laser companies that specialised in tattoo removal, he said. Sometimes things that we intend for humour can fall flat. St Paul once wrote that as God's chosen ones, we should clothe ourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness and patience, and that we should bear with one another. It's a passage that I sometimes talk about at funerals as I encourage the newlyweds to treat one another with respect and with all those things that Paul describes. But what Paul says applies to all of us, not just married couples. As a child, I can still remember being taught the old adage that sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Frankly, that is one of the daftest adages that the world has ever invented. Because if we break bones, on the whole, they tend to repair. But I know many people for whom words were spoken, possibly in jest, possibly not, decades ago, 50, 60, 70 years ago in some cases, which have still broken the person to which they were spoken. So let me encourage all of us to be really careful with the words that we use to one another. Let's be really careful with the pranks we play. Now please don't hear me saying we shouldn't have a laugh, we shouldn't have fun, because absolutely we should do both of those things. But let's be really careful with what we say and the pranks we play on others to make sure that we're not going further than is appropriate. Let's make sure that we use words and we do things to build each other up and to encourage one another. I hope you have a really good day.